Cummins has a program that I like to use called PowerSpec available free online. I'd like to draw some comparisons between our original tire size and gearing and what we're currently running on the Dodge Ram truck. First we insert a cruise speed. In this case we'll use 65 miles per hour. Our vehicle has a Chrysler 48RE transmission but the ratio is the same as the 47RE that Cummins has entered in this slot. So we have an overdrive ratio of 31% and we enter 0.69 in the transmission top gear ratio slot. The original equipment tires were 658 revolutions per mile and the axle gearing was 3.73 to 1 ratio. This yielded at 55 miles per hour 1,552 crankshaft RPM at 65 miles an hour the intended cruise speed 1835 RPM and at 70 will enter 70 miles an hour as a cruise speed the engine was spinning 1976 RPM our new ratios are as follows at 70 mile an hour cruise we stay with a 0.69 transmission top gear ratio the tire size now has us at 582 revolutions. This is the 325-65 R18 tires from BF Goodrich. The axle ratio we've changed to 4.56 to 1 and the net result is a 70 mile an hour cruise speed yields 2136 RPM. At 55 miles an hour the crankshaft is spinning 1679 RPM and at 65 miles an hour the crankshaft is turning 1984 RPM. These are speeds that we know will deliver maximum fuel efficiency. From experience, this engine delivers its best fuel efficiency between 1600 and 1900 RPM. Our plans are to tow a trailer, typically in the 55 to 65 mile per hour range. So we can expect the engine to be spinning just over the torque peak of 1600 RPM at 1679 RPM at 55 miles an hour and at 65 miles an hour the engine is spinning 1984 RPM. All of these figures including the figures for the original equipment tire and gearing combination according to Cummins are below the recommended RPM figures. Cummins would like to see the engine spinning between 2100 and 2400 RPM under load, but we know from experience we won't get the same fuel efficiency in that RPM range as we will between 1600 and 1900 RPM. So we're happy with our gearing choice and if anything, we're closer to Cummins recommendations with the new axle gearing and tire diameter combination than we were with the original equipment.